Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time's good. I know this says December 2020, but that is when I'm filming it. For you, it may resonate as past, present, or future. There are timestamps in the description box as well as uh, the decks that I am using. Okay. Straight away, cards are wanted to come out for you. We have the lovers. And I thought I saw something else flip. Um, maybe it read. So Gemini energy coming out. So this is a very deep connection that you're experiencing with this person. This may be a really deep soulmate for some of you. Um, you guys are a good fit for each other. There's a protective energy with this card over each other. Like, you know, the energy of wanting to nurture, you know, the other, protect the other. What else for Gemini, please? All right, the Tower of Scorpio energy. Some of you may be separated from this person or things are ending between the two of you. The Tower may have fallen for some of you. Uh, there, you know, may not be communication right now or, you know, just um, an ending of some sort or something maybe abrupt or unexpected possibly happened here. You know, maybe there's some reason, something here that's separating the two of you. What else? Tell me more, please, Spirit. What else do you have for Gemini? And I keep wanting to say Scorpio. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or could have strong Scorpio in your chart. It's like heavily on my mind now. Um, we do have the Six of Cups. So this could be someone that you maybe have a lot of history with. I mean, with this kind of energy right here, you know, there's like, there's a, there's going to be reconciliation regardless. Whatever's going on here, like this is not completely over to the two of you. Some of you actually may have children or have had a life together, could have been married, um, to each other or other people, uh, but something here could be ending, something could be separating the two of you. Six of Cups. Someone's reflecting a lot of, on a lot of past memories. So if you're not currently with this person or it's a separation, someone's thinking a lot about, you know, the past, you know, time you spent together, when you met, that kind of thing. What else, please, Spirit? What else for Gemini? Four of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone's disappointed with this. Okay, so it may have been rejected. Someone may be disappointed. Someone could have chose someone else. Um, Four of Cups. Four of Cups is disappointment, regret. You know, think about the past, feeling, you know, uneasy. And since it's like, you know, I want to be able to take this divine love. I want to be able to take this cup. But I already have something blocking that. I already have something on my plate that I'm focused on. You know, and it's like, you know, in this card, I want to I want to kind of point out some things here. In this particular card, you know, we have this beautiful divine ace of cups sitting here, okay? And then we have three empty cups here with the flowers and the water, you know, something that they've already begun to nurture, something they've already begun to kind of create. This is like what they're focused on. They want to be able to take this cup. They want to be able to take that offer. They want to be able to move forward. You know, but it's like they can't. They're restricted in a sense. But there's a lot of reflection about the past. So you may have a lot of history with this person. Like I say, somebody here could be in a higher level of commitment. We do have Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant would also talk about a major karmic lesson. Maybe in this separation, someone's learning something, beginning to understand something here. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, this is like a very masculine energy. And again, male or female, we don't read the, the genders in tarot, we read the energy, okay? So we all have masculine and feminine energies, but the energy here that I feel is very dominant, very, I want it my way, very, um, you know, what's the right word? Determined, resourceful, powerful. You know, this person wants to get things done. They want to move forward. They want it their way. Um, this is somebody, you know, they've got their sights set on something. Definitely a deep attraction here. A lot of passion. What else, please, Spirit? Okay. The Fool. Someone's taking a risk in a new direction or on something new. That is Aries energy yet again. You know, the fool is somebody who's trying to be optimistic, planning for the future, new opportunities, new doors to open, you know, but there's risk involved, no risk, no reward. Someone has to take a leap of faith in a new direction. We do have Capricorn energy here with the devil here. Someone could be tempted in a new direction. Um, 
Now I do want to say a couple of things, but let's start with this. Under the deck, we do have the star Aquarius energy. Now the star, male or female, is someone who's very beautiful. Okay, this is about healing. This is a new chat. This is a wish granted, a wish fulfillment. The star is someone who is uh, very attractive. This can be someone who is in the public eye or people are just gravitating towards them. Okay, people are constantly like, oh, I just, you know, they want, to, they want to be like this person. They want to be around this person. They want to be in their energy. Someone has their sights here. Now, yeah, take it how it resonates. Leave what does not. But for those of you where this is third party, someone may be in a higher level of commitment. They're planning to end because they're feeling passionate about a new beginning with someone else. Okay, they're very attracted to this person. They desire this person very deeply, um, so much so that they're willing to take some, you know, very intense risk here to move forward and see what's going to happen. Uh, and if that's not the case, if there's no one here involved, okay, there may be a separation between the two of you, and this person's coming back around to offer commitment because this person doesn't want to lose you. They're so attracted to you. They feel this deep chemistry with you. They feel protective of you. You know, they're thinking about the past, you know, the time you guys spent together. They feel disappointed. They feel um, a lot of regret, you know, maybe for some past decisions or mistakes. Someone here may have been rejected or disappointed with what may have happened, some kind of abrupt ending or disappointment here in this connection. Now they're wanting to come back around. They're coming in passionately to kind of renew things things take a chance at this because they feel so deeply I mean this is you know a deep pull a deep spiritual connection okay let's get some clarifiers here and see what's really going on all right <clears throat> what else please spirit what else do you have for us please There, someone here could be very intuitive, okay? Uh, we do have Gemini energy here. We have, you know, Pisces Cancer energy here. Someone could be very intuitive. Um, someone may know, there could be a secret relationship or a secret love affair or like this connection that, you know, doesn't even really have to be spoken about. It's like this deep understanding that this connection is, you know, very powerful. Maybe ancient in a sense. Maybe you guys have spent many past lives together. The tower, somebody may be going through like a divorce or a legal separation possibly, or some may have lost their job. So this could be moving, travel, issues with family, like a major tower event. Some of you may have been um, moving towards higher levels of commitment or moving towards stability with this person. You may have invested a lot of time into this connection. It may be it abruptly stopped or someone, or like I say, someone here could be going through a divorce. Someone's reminiscent about this deep passion they feel with this person. I mean, there's a lot of chemistry here. Someone may be confused, possibly, about a past situation. So maybe making an offer. They, they feel like they have to kind of wait or postpone to make an offer because there's some kind of disappointment. There's something that's been holding them back. Someone may need to make like an uh, bring like a gift or... Um, I don't know why I want to say like this person's like a peace offering with someone because they know they hurt them in the past by rejecting them. Queen of Swords, that is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be a woman here who's very spiteful or very hurt. You know, um, again, it could be a male as well. Um, there's some kind of major lesson to be learned in this. So someone were kind of strategizing, planning, waiting to kind of figure things out. Someone maybe wanted to work on the situation possibly. Doesn't want to give up without a fight. We do have the Empress here with the Queen of Wands, King of Wands. So someone here could be, you know, very fertile right now. I do want to say that. This could be a creation, new beginning, a very protective energy. Someone could be thinking a lot about family. Deep attraction here. Growth, potential possibilities. That's not going to be for all of you either. I mean, the Empress doesn't necessarily just mean um, pregnancy or fertility. It can mean many things. Um, but, like, someone could be very passionate about this Empress, you know, because, you know, this woman could be very nurturing, very giving, very loving, understanding, Taurus, Libra energy. Someone is planning to move, possibly, because they're ready for a fresh start. They're ready for a new beginning. Okay, these cards just flipped over <laughs> as I was beginning to shuffle. With the devil here, we have the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Someone's very confused. They feel trapped. 
they're obsessively in their thoughts about leaving behind something and starting something new because they can't really detach from the past. Um, they, they still feel this deep pull to this person. Someone's confused. Could be a past life relationship for some of you. Like you, uh, past life soulmates. You spent, you know, many lifetimes or this, you've known this person for, you know, six, seven, eight years. Okay. For some of you, some of you months, it's, you know, but it's, it's been time. It's invested into something. Someone's confused. Someone may feel trapped. They don't know how to break free or get to what, what they want, or they just can't let go of the past possibly. Somebody may have children involved. We have Leo energy here. This is the happiest card in the deck. So someone's really thinking a lot about strategizing about how to get this, you know, higher level of commitment or, you know, how to make things, make things work here. Um, this is about, you know, creating something, protecting something, nurturing something. Let's pull a romance angel. We do have passion, which says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We have love yourself first, which says your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. And we do have wedding, which says the situation does involve marriage. So, I mean, like I say, somebody here could already be married. There could be like a spiritual marriage here. Uh, or there could be like a maternal figure, who, you know, family member, someone, something like that's involved in some way. Someone feel, could feel committed to something in a sense. Or a situation, maybe a child's mother possibly. But there's a deep passion, deep attraction, deep chemistry here. Um, someone here may be struggling with self-respect. I do want to say it's the more masculine energy. Now, let me say this. We all have masculine and feminine energy. So regardless if this person is physically male or female, I feel like the person that you're dealing with is very ma has a very masculine energy, like a very macho. No offense to my guys out there, because you know it's this person has too much masculine energy. Like they don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to look weak. They don't want they want to hide their feelings. They they have a hard time talking about it. They come off very passionate, very intense. That's not justification, but that's the understanding of it, right? This person has, you know, a lot of it, like they puff themselves up, you know, um, they, they're masking that insecurity with like this over masculine energy. Okay. This overly confident, egotistical energy because they have a hard time admitting when they're vulnerable, when they feel weak. Okay. They don't want to look too sensitive. Okay. So this person, they're struggling with, with that. Okay. And that may be why they come off a little bit harsh at times or a little bit cold or hard to read because, you know, they don't, they, they're afraid to show their emotional side. This person may have also had a lot of bad past situations with family, past relationships, that kind of thing that has conditioned them. Okay. This person has some insecurities, but there's a deep passion here and somebody here is wanting a wish to come true. All right. So this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.